Good afternoon, beautiful people. Alrighty, I'm going to do a, a video on stripe bias binding. And I've cut my piece out. And I've had to fold it point to point. So it is now a triangle because it's such a big piece that I need to cut. So you've got it folded in the triangle. If I had it out trying to cut it on the diagonal, it's such a big piece I would need multiple rulers. So to eliminate that, I've folded it in half. And to make sure I get it right, I use the bottom of my ruler to line it up on one of my markers. It doesn't matter what marker, any marker. So then you know you have a 90 degree angle. And then you measure, not measure, sorry, line up the edge of your ruler to the tip. All right. So once you've got it lined up, Cut it. Oh. Sorry about that, guys. I'll just quickly nick a little bit just there. And that little bit, and then there we go. All right, so once you've done that, open them out. So we have one triangle peak going up this one we want to peak down so you've got a mountain and a valley okay and then fold that over now I could so my quarter inch along there, but I want to make sure that my lines are going to match up. All right, so I'm going to pull this one that way, and that one that way. So I just took the one that was folded and flipped it and moved the one on this side to this side. So I've just flipped around the way I had my valley and my mountain. Okay, so I've got the valley on this side, the point coming down, the mountain on that side. So now I can actually line up my lines to make sure that they're definitely going to match. So you match all your lines up. And they'll be offset just a little bit up each end here. And that is so when you do your quarter inch and fold it out, it will be lined up. Alright. Alright. So I've done my quarter inch, I press the seam open, now you just want to take your piece, fold this corner down, much easier to cut your strips this way if you make your piece into a smaller manager piece, more manageable piece to cut. The less you need to move your ruler and your fabric, the better. And there you have it. Make sure they're lined up. All 
and then you just cut your strips to your desired width. Actually, I'll turn it that way so you guys can see. All right. So you just line, you just flip the edges over to your seam, and then you go ahead and cut your pieces as per your desired width for the project that you happen to be doing. And that's how easy it is. So I don't cut, uh, say for example, two inch. I don't go two, 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 two. I'll do to six. Cut it. Then move it along like that. And there you have the beautiful strips. And then you just join them like you would ordinarily join your bias binding. Okay. Alrighty guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you got something out of this video. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.